Hey guys, what's up? DLive here, and I am here with a game called The Adventures of Betram Fiddle, Episode 1, A Dreadly Business. It's supposed to be a game surrounded like murders, you have to investigate them. It's very British, it's very hilarious, and it has a lot of dark humor with it. Uh, episode 2 comes out of this year, May 2017, it was actually kickstarted, and I haven't seen too many people play this game. It's got really good reviews on Steam, came back out, it came out in like 2015, but it looks pretty cool. No one's really covered this game, so I figured let's give it a shot. And just to remind you, I have this guy with me, so if you hear any barking, any wackiness, right? Any wackiness, it's you, right? Right? It's you. You're the wacky. Doing a little experiment with him, because he's he seems to be very upset when I record. He doesn't like me being loud, so I'm trying to get him used to it. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit new game. It's supposed to be a point-and-click adventure, so... And you kind of got to solve mysteries. And it's it's set up in Victorian England. Whoa. There's a lot of cool stuff going on here. So we're going to see a murder right off the bat. Oh. Stay away from those twins, okay? <gasps> Wanted for doing murders. Oh. Okay. So our business is dreadly because we investigate murders. So who's gonna get who's gonna get it, man? Who's gonna get the murder? Chapter one: Curious stir stirrings. Curious stirrings. Okay, so I'm just sleeping. Wake up! Get some clothes on, dude. Oh damn! Pygmies. <laughs> Click on the hot spots to interact with them. Damn time machine! If it was a time machine, dude. I can't see a thing. So you need some glasses. Gracious, is that the time? It appears I have overslept somewhat. Hmm. I can't see a thing. <laughs> I can't see a thing. Well, you gotta find your glasses. I can't see a thing. Okay, then open the window. Jesus. There you go. Ah, that's better. What a beautiful day. Only a mild smattering of pigeons. <laughs> hey, what's oh, this? I wouldn't look in there if I were you. Okay. Do you like accidentally wet the bed and what drips out goes under there? You creepy dude. All right, so he's gonna change into his uh his suit there. He's not the most professional investigator. Hmm, that's better. <laughs> ah, he looks he looks dapper. Let's go. Let's go out here. Where's our friend? We supposed Harry to have a friend. Have this rag out when he cleaned the photomographs. I ought to tidy it up. Okay, so I gotta grab this cloth. And I gotta go downstairs and wipe it. Why is there a, Oh, do I have one of those chairs that you sit in going downstairs? <laughs> My Stanley steam lift. It makes traversing these cumbersome stairs. I want one of those. I want one of those for my staircase. Where do I go to order that, okay? I need that. Oh Seems man. To be a little stuck. <laughs> <laughs> I almost died. Plastic pile of rubbish. <laughs> Jeez. I would love Where's it. Gavin? Give it to me. He should be here to hand me my telegrams. I mean, he's probably in his quarters sleeping. Gigantic diamond. Sounds oh. legitimate. Dear sir, madame, allow me to introduce myself. I am Prince Mabuti. <laughs> Prince Mabuti. And since the death of my dear father, I've come into possession of an incredibly large, valuable diamond. I require your assistance to bring it to London. I'm willing to pay you a sum of hundred pounds in return for your urgent helpings. I await your reply. Your honest. You, yours honestly, Prince Mabuti. This seems like one of those emails that you get in spam where they tell you you have a huge lump of sum in some country that you've never heard of and that you can't tell anybody and don't call the police and you'll get free money. And you... Mm. you... I've been telegram spammed. Yep, I told you. Make your wife's eyes go counterclockwise. You won't believe the improved satisfaction forthcoming as a result of purchasing Dr. Kravnot's majestic dignity pills shipped discreetly and without question. Telegram now for a free sample. A message from Lord Arthwipe. Oh, Ar Arthwipe. Maybe he has news of an adventure. Fiddle, I have an errand for you. Come to my house of Hemlock Street by noon. Lord Arthwipe. Sir, is that you? <laughs> Oh, he you just... locked yourself in again, Gavin. <laughs> I think he did. Let's just leave him. Goodbye. I can't leave home without my manservant. That would never do. My manservant? All right, go help Gavin out. Gavin's stuck in here. Gavin's my nephew. I actually have a nephew named Gavin, so. Good morning, Mr. Fidel. 
Oh, God. Gavin does not have ah, one eye, though. There you are, Gavin. Where have you been? I was just, uh, deflating the Zeppelin, sir. <laughs> I did not hear you walk down the stairs. Did you sleep well? Unfortunately not. It was a restless night, embothered by some strange dreams. My mm. mind craves adventure. Oh. And without it, I fear I'm going quite mad. It's been two months without the slightest expedition. Mm. I'm becoming a little worried. What shall I do if I can't do my adventuring? <laughs> do not fear, sir. There is an old Peruvian saying. The forest is full of trees. Hmm. Quite. <laughs> that was great, man. Really helped me. My grandfather had a massive clock. <laughs> okay. I like these little adventures that we have. Oh, I guess Being we can look at here. by a giant man-eating tortoise. I've never been so mildly afraid in all my life. <laughs> what a tedious death that would have been. Especially if you stood still. What about this up here? Kevin, my trusty manservant and I, in the Peruvian jungle. He's a cyclops. Okay. Strong as an ox, but terrible depth perception. <laughs> Last year's trip to the center of the earth. Got a lovely tan. <laughs> okay, my trusty manservant, Gavin. All right, I guess we got to go out. Come on, Gavin. Let's go. Whoa, shit. You guys got some cool shit here. What is this? Just some artifacts I picked up on my travels. Really? I like the weird cat snail thing. My prized possession. An actual Tyrannosaur arm Wow. Bone. That's pretty freaking sweet. Why are we taking it with us? I guess we need it. It's a weird fish up there. Some interesting artwork. Look at this a monkey. A cheeky specimen. <laughs> He's got a butt for a head. Oh, God. Look at the way the hole is. A rather cheeky specimen. That's kind of creepy. I shot my first yeti with that. Whoa. Nearly lost my mustache in the process. That would have been horrible, man. What's in the book? I'm writing my autobiography. A fiddle here and there. It okay. is a most gripping read, sir. <laughs> Is that my, my grandma? Mother, oh, my I owe mother. her so much. Oh my god. £12,000 and a new gazebo. Oh, damn. <laughs> Why is her nose above her eyes? And her mouth is very... That's... Your mother is beautiful. <laughs> Don't let anybody say any otherwise. A fossilized dinosaur egg. Oh, that's so cool. First. Uh, damn. Don't start this shit. That's all what my comment section is going to be about. Thanks, Gavin. Hmm. Can I do something with his hat? Oh, I can tell him to do something. I can tell Gavin to go look if at the I monkey. Could, I would, sir. All right, so he will do things for me. Oh, there oh. you are, Bertram. Oh. What did I do? What did I do? Don't touch my knickknacks. Oh, I'm sorry. Your little pooch is cute, though. Foofy's carry basket. Foofy's. All right, do we talk to her? Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? Half full. All right, let's talk Good to. Good morning, dear heart. Is that it's my wife? It's nearly ten o'clock. I hardly call that morning. Haven't you got some adventuring to do? Alas, no. I have been looking, but I just can't find any expeditions worthy of my talents. Damn. Well, if you don't find something to adventure soon, I shall require that you find yourself a proper job. <gasps> It's not that easy, my Ooh. dear. You can't merely go outside and find yourself in a world full of unimaginable creatures. Adventure strikes when you least expect it. Exactly. That as may be, I am accustomed to certain standards. Oh. Being respectable costs money. Your mother agrees with me. Ugh. She has mentioned there is a very respectable position at Mr. Dullsworth Soap Company providing telegrammatic advertising. The hours mm. are long and arduous, and the work repetitive and uninteresting. But you would receive a steady income, Bertram. My, mm. my, is that the, um, I really must be off. Yeah, exactly. Doesn't sound fun. <gasps> Caviar doesn't just grow on trees. Why don't you get yeah, a fucking yeah, job? <laughs> I'm sure there is an adventure just around the corner. Apparently, I need to give her some, give her this rag. I'm sorry, dear. You have until the end of the day to find suitable employment, or I am calling Mr. Dullsworth. <sighs> well, of course, my dear. Thank you, Beatrice. Now, could
Could you do me a favor? What? Um, well, well, I do have an appointment with Lord Arthwipe. For goodness sake, Beatrum. I don't Ugh. like you running errands for a day. Do you do any work yourself, lady? God, do some work. Take your own stupid foofy dog. Actually, foofy's kind of cute. Creature. Oh, God. Bother some creature. Bother some creature. All right, Gavin, mm. take care of the puppy. I've captured countless species of wild animal. I'm sure I can manage a half-witted house pet. I'm the secret is using the right bait. Yeah. Oh, I have a bone. But it's my prized dinosaur arm bone. Put it in there. Hi, Foofy. Look what I have. Good. Hopefully that will keep him quiet for a while. But that's my arm, my T-Rex arm thing. Can I have some gin Is now? Is the bottle of gin half full or half empty? <laughs> I need it after that conversation with that lady. Okay. Pick up Foofy. Whoa, I just put it in my pocket. It's lucky I have such spacious pockets. Yeah. All right, so I guess we go. Why is it all spooky all suddenly? I thought it was going to be spooky. <laughs> May I remind you that I possess immense strength, Mr. Fidel. <laughs> all right, Gavin. Yes. Take care of it. Be a good fellow and move this cabinet, Gavin. Certainly, sir. Why are you going to move it? Oh, there's a key. There is a key. Why are we hiding keys right there? I'm assuming... Need an umbrella? <laughs> it's bad luck to use an umbrella indoors, don't you know? But you have to pick it up. You know, you kind of have to pick it up so you can use it outside. Okay, I'm assuming that we need the key to it's unlock. It's like a key, literally. I mean, it would. All right, let's go. All right, so we got to take what Foofy to the groomery. Not really a stroll. All right, so pies, meats, and sun sundries. I guess we go this way. Mm, there is a storm coming. Damn. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh no, he took Foofy. Little man. He never said sorry. He oh, took... I see. He's bemuddled our bags up. He took Foofy. He's Good. Not foofy. Fine. It's fine. No, okay with that. The dog Rude barked man. at me. Excuse Goodbye, me. Foofy. Rude man. No, leave Foofy. Excuse me. Rude man. Oh God. I knocked somebody down. There he goes, sir. This is not working. The controls aren't working. Okay, now they're working. I was setting the wrong keys. I was panicking. Okay, I got it. All right, he's not gonna get away. He's not gonna get away. Okay, we're gonna catch him. He just needs to run into somebody. See, he ran into somebody. We are catching him. We are. Yeah, he is rude. Huzzah is right. Oh shit. Okay, we're getting. We're right there. He's running into people. A lot more than me. Come on. We're almost on his butt. Gavin, throw me. Throw me, Gavin. Up right on his tail. Okay, we're on his tail. Yes. The oranges. A visit to the Adventurers Club. Did we get him finally? Ouch! Ah. Are you okay, sir? No, I fell. I broke every bone in my body. Where'd the guy What's go? This? It appears to be a nose. What? A nose? He Ooh. must have dropped it in his haste to scurry off into the shadows. A nose? You squashed me oranges! Me lovely orange oranges! That's not me. I didn't do anything. I did nothing to your oranges, okay? Evening, Barbara! Did you see a suspicious, shadowy little man run by, Pachops? I wish to return his bag. No, sir, I have not. You should ask that Sherlock Holmes, sir. He's oh, a wow. Detective. You can find him in the adventure. Sherlock club. Holmes? Yes, yes, I know who he is. I'm quite the detective myself, you know. Blessed with a keen eye for detail. Yes. Let me have a look at that. Oh, look. A freak show is Jeff in town. the murderer strikes again. Can anyone uncover the identity of Victorian London's most elusive serial killer? He chopped off the person's head. Jesus. Hello, pigeons. Psst. 
Over here. What? Emelina Snoopsworth reports oh. for the evening burble. Good yes. Day. Bertram Fiddle, leading Victorian explorator. Perhaps you've heard of me. Exactly. Um, yes. Yes, of course I have. Maybe you can help me. Are you a member of the Adventurers Club? Indeed I am, madam. How may I be of she service? She wants to get in there. I'm investigating the ghastly murderings that have been happening, and I want to interview Sherlock Holmes, but he's a very difficult man to get hold of. Oh. They won't even allow women in this ridiculous, outdated, backwards club. It's 1884, not the Middle Ages. Exactly. Wait. As it happens, I'm going to see Sherlock Holmes now. Perhaps I can ask for you. That would be most helpful. If you learn anything about the recent murderings, do tell. Snoopsworth. Okay. So is that the Adventurers Club in front of me, I'm assuming? I just want to make the pigeons run away. <laughs> Alright, let's go inside the house. Hi. Whoa. What a glorious rhinoceros! Rhinoceros? Mm. He looks a bit sickly. What a unique horn! What sort of animal is it? It's a unicorn. There's a mermaid. A genuine Fijian mermaid. Although it does look a bit fishy. Oh, God. These puns. Oh, good evening, Mr. Fiddles. The usual. Yes, please. One can never have enough tea. Thank you, sir. So I got some tea. Okay, what's this? Can I click that? There's a lion up there. The main attraction. Taking pride of place on the wall. Oh my god. At your service. Oh, sorry. If I could, I would, sir. I wanted to talk to this guy down here. How do you do, Sir Grouchly? <laughs> How do you think, Fiddle? Grouchy? Things haven't been the same since I lost my legs in Venice. Damn. Constant pain, Fiddle. Constant. Oh. oh, I am sorry. That sounds terrible. You weren't there, man. You weren't there. Oh, he's seen things. There's <laughs> a big elephant what out there. What an imposing pachyderm. His trunk Pachyderm. is colossal. All right, what about this guy? I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, you are not permitted into the gold members area. What? It is for A-list adventurers only. Fuck you. I've never been so outraged. I need to see Sherlock Holmes. Mr. Holmes has asked expressly not to be disturbed as he is working on <laughs> the dreadful case of Jeff the Murderer. I have my own case I want to talk to him about. Yeah. I'm afraid, Mr. Fiddle, <sighs> you are not permitted into the gold members area. What a freaking horrible, miserable person right there. That poor creature has not been mounted properly. It looks <laughs> like it could fall down any minute. Ooh. What if we make Gavin just hit that guy over the head with it? His antlers are as twisted as this mystery. Okay. Your Majesty. What is that mm. thing? Has someone been trolling? <laughs> God. Guy Hardwood, how are you? Fiddle, long time no see. Yay. Yes, it's been a while. Just telling Melvis here about my latest adventure. Four months in Patagonia. Ooh. South America. Discovered a lost world. It was well splendid. Yeah. Found this thing up a crevice. What? Crevasse. Crevasse. So thought I'd bring it back. Don't even know what it is. What is it? Got a few ideas. <laughs> this thing? Crazy. Prehistoric. A dodo bird? It's a very unique looking creature. It looks kind of like a dodo. Fiddle. Dodo. She bites. Not too keen on being cooped up. You nearly took my elbow off. But if she got out, who knows what she might do? Pandemonium, I expect. Is the lock safe? Safe as houses, Fiddle. Pay top shilling for that beauty. So we need to let the bird out. So it can wreck that guy so we can get inside. Ooh, porcupine canopies. A prickly aperitif. <laughs> ah, so can we lockpick it? What about this guy? Hi. Lord Rochester has been asleep since 1882. A grizzly and gnarled <laughs> member. <laughs> Alright, so can we... Pick the lock. Time to cause a flap. Exactly. Oh. Fly, little creature, fly. What the f oh, it's like a pterodactyl. Fiddle, 
You buffoon! What have you done? Yeah! I'm lost. Come back! Come back! So now we can go inside. Gavin, don't worry. I'm right behind you, guy. <laughs> We're gonna go in there now. Screw this stupid waiter guy. Goodbye. Oh, oh damn. Oh yes, that's the spot. What the fuck was that? Hmm, that yes. The infamous Jade Griffin. Oh. So there's two doors. There's this Sir door. Clive Odwing, the world renowned ornithologist's private chamber. He's left his door ajar. Yeah. Ah, Is he dead? Oh, he could be no. dead. Oh. Do you mind? There's the door oh, open! I'm terribly sorry. The door was open and I uh, never. Uh, uh, hmm. uh, no. Ooh, down a bit, Sandra. Door just stand there gawking, man. I'm sure it's nothing I've seen before. Um, it is. Ooh, you've got cold hands. <laughs> Ooh, you've got cold hands. <laughs> so creepy. I'm out of here. All right, let's go to Sherlock Holmes' room. Gavin's just ah, happy to be here. I win again, Watson. You really are a dolt. I'm sorry, Holmes. I'm trying. It's just I don't really understand the rules of this game. <laughs> All your games. <laughs> All right, so there's a little globe here. Been there, been there, been there, been th oh. oh, that's new. And you gotta go there. Okay, so there's only... We can talk to Sherlock Holmes here. Ah, oh, fiddle. What brings you here? Come to bore us with more tales of one of your piffling adventures, <gasps> have you? No, I'm on a mission to return this bag unto its rightful owner. Aha. Uh -huh. And who is its rightful owner? That I have yet to ascertain. There are absolutely no clues whatsoever. Have you tried looking in the bag? Ah, I never <laughs> thought of that. All right, so look in the bag. Let's what's in the bag. Oh, ahead. The features have been sliced off expertly with a sharp instrument Ooh. by someone with skill and panache. <gasps> it's the one that got this murdered. Looks like the work of London's most elusive serial killer. Jeff the murderer. Ha! Good luck finding him, Fiddle. The whole of Scotland Yard hasn't been able to track him down in decades. I rather fancy my luck, Holmes. Exactly. He can't be that far away. <laughs> you, Fiddle. You couldn't find your own tolly water in the toilet. Ha ha ha. I'll wager you wager you don't even come close. Ha <laughs> ha. If you can find Jeff the murderer, I'll wear a woman's dress and dance the trifling gallop round the streets of Lambeth. I accept, good sir. Nice to see you, Bertram. Shush, Watson. But the Aww. Jesus Christ. That is creepy as hell. The nose! That's not to be sniffed at. The nose goes in, so we're going to be looking for the eyes, I'm assuming. Wow. So you put the nose... That's no not... That's, that's not... So you just put the nose on. That's not to be... I say. <laughs> I say. That's not to be sniffed right. at. So we put the head... We have a head now in our inventory with the nose on it. So That's quite an extensive collection of books you have there. What are they about? Yeah. They're mostly about me. Jesus. Okay, so cocky. Go away, fiddle. But the... Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. Oh, I have tea. Here, have some tea, you crouchy More motherfucker. Tea. Give me that. Being the world's greatest crook thwarter is thirsty work. Yeah, be a little bit nicer, Jesus. Cause now can I talk Go to him? Away, fiddle. But the Shush, Watson. Maybe I could make something to calm Sherlock down. I did. I gave him like can I give him that I gave him tea. Your teacup is empty. Eh, what a brilliant detective you seem to I be. I gave him fucking tea! So maybe we have to go this way. We have to find him some whiskey or something. I don't think we can go that way, but let's go. Or Lord Arthwhite needs something done for us. Oh. Have you heard the news, Fiddle? There's been another murder right yes. under our noses. They say he is the devil himself. Oh. <laughs> Terrible, isn't it? Terrible? Terrible? You do not know the meaning of the word, Fiddle. Now I, on the other hand, I have done some truly terrible things in my time. Fortunately, <laughs> I am so rich, I am above the law. <laughs> Are you the killer? Oh, I have a little errand for you, Fiddle. Hmm. 
You may encounter a Lady Ravisham whilst traipsing around. She has in her possession some photographs that I would rather she did not. Oh. I need you to retrieve them for me. If you obtain them successfully, meet me in Lady Ravisham's secret garden, and I will reward you handsomely. So is he the killer? But tell no one, Fiddle. No one. There's blood I really for my coach to take you there. It is waiting outside. There's literally <laughs> blood on the ground. <laughs> and a skull back here. Um okay. Don't touch my saber! Okay, I feel like he's the killer. But I'm just saying it right off the bat. All right, so Gavin doesn't like him. I'm with Gavin. Gavin uh, doesn't Mr. like him. Fiddle, I've been waiting for you. Okay, so I guess I we go in. Unattended business at the Adventurers Club. I tried to give him tea, but he wouldn't take it. There is more to this. Watson talks absolute twaddle. As long as I'm here, you can talk to me. I might have an idea. Not a word. Watson is trying. Okay, so I have to get rid of him somehow. Maybe I have to give him the tea and then talk to Watson right at that time as he's drinking. More tea. Give me that. I'm trying to talk to him. There is more to this. Watson talks absolute twaddle. As oh, Watson's smarter than you. All right, well, I'm a little bit stuck. I don't exactly know where to go, what to do next, so I'm going to end it there. If you guys like to see any more of the adventures of Betram Fiddle, this murder mystery, Jeff, we, we got to hunt down Jeff the Killer. We got to get Foofy back, or our our lady is going to, I don't know, I guess she's not going to leave us and make us get a job, apparently, even though she doesn't have a job herself. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave likes down below. It's very funny, very interesting little point and click game. Uh... I would like to see where it goes. Right now, my favorite character is Gavin right there. He's pretty cool. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in another video. Bye!